To get started, join a Google Meet from a calendar invite or go to meet.new. To use AI to take your meeting notes, simply enable Gemini from this screen here. There are a few options like who the notes get shared with and whether you also want to get a full transcription of the meeting alongside a summary. I find it helpful to have the transcription just in case something is missing from the notes later. When you're in the meeting, the prompt at the top shows everyone that Gemini is making notes and that a transcription is being taken as well. And there's also the ability to ask Gemini questions during the meeting and I'll show you how that works in a moment. First, here's the email you receive with the notes and transcription once the meeting is over. Gemini uses three sections in the notes doc. A summary, which is a paragraph overview of the meeting. Details, which breaks down the meeting into the main topics that were discussed with timestamps as well. And then suggested next steps, which just lays out potential actions based on the discussion that happened in the meeting. It's pretty helpful, but it perhaps lacks a bit of flexibility. There's some options outside of the Google ecosystem which might give you more flexibility, like Granola, which does something I haven't seen from other tools. It gives you a notepad to take notes whilst also listening to the meeting and then brings them both together in a really helpful summary. You can still edit that summary at the end and you can also ask questions to dive into more detail. And I've been testing it for a little while now and I found it helpful. I wouldn't share something here, by the way, that I wouldn't use myself. And one benefit of Granola's approach is that you can set up specific templates for different types of meetings, like one-to-ones or daily stand-ups. And because it keeps your notes from every meeting, regardless of what platform you're using, whether it's Meet or Zoom or Teams, they're all in one place. So it's also then easy to search across all of your past meeting notes, which just isn't easily possible with Gemini's own notes that get stored in Google Drive. And Granola also connects to Zapier, so you could set up all sorts of cool workflows. So whilst I think Google Meet's built-in Gemini integration is decent, Granola could help you step things up a notch. You can check it out for free using my special link in the description. Now there are a few more great AI features built into Google Meet though, and my favorite is the ability to ask questions about the meeting so far. This is so helpful if you're running late or you want to double check a deadline someone mentioned earlier. All you have to do is click on the Ask Gemini symbol on the top right of the screen, the side panel pops out, and you can see me asking questions here, like when the deadline is that's been mentioned earlier. Or you can also get a summary of the meeting so far at any point. And Ask Gemini can be enabled or disabled in each meeting by the host. So if you don't want people able to do that, you can turn that off. Or the Google Workspace admin can disable it too. Let's quickly look at some more features in Google Meet that use AI that you might not have seen. First, there's Studio Sound. That does an amazing job of reducing background noise so that everyone in the meeting just hears your voice. And I've seen people rustle bags of chips while speaking, and it really does a good job of silencing that noise. And every Google Meet has the option for everyone to enable captions, and those captions can even be live translated. I just click on the button here, choose the language that I want to translate to, and then it will come up on the screen. This was really helpful when I joined customer meetings as part of an international team. Next, if I go to background and effects in the more options button, there are a few options for appearance, including studio lighting. That could be really helpful if you find yourself in a dark room. And I love the way that you can move the light around and even change the color as well. And for a bit of fun, you could always turn on the filters. 